everyone today we're in a bit of a different location if you haven't already definitely check out my video where i flipped our ikea nightstands and updated the room a little bit i'll link the video in the cards and in the description below but today i wanted to talk about our living room actually and i wanted to go a little bit more in detail on how i created my diy budget friendly renter friendly gallery wall so let's get started <music> The first thing is going to be selecting your art. So there's a couple of ways to do this. There's a ton of Etsy shops where you can buy print and whole gallery wall setup. So you can definitely go that route. I went the cheaper budget friendly route. So instead I used free images that I found on the internet and had those printed out. So what you want to do to find free images is basically search public domain artwork. That's artwork that doesn't have a copyright that you could do whatever you want with. I personally use the Metropolitan Museum's page. They have a great archive with a bunch of filter options so you can find exactly what you're looking for and you can use keywords like landscape or sketches and you can filter by country by era by a ton of different things so you can find exactly the artwork that you want for your gallery also if you didn't see already i'm starting a newsletter so definitely sign up and if you sign up you'll get all the prints that were in my gallery wall for free so you don't have to search for anything <laughs> So once you've found prints that you like, the next step will be printing your art. So again, you have a ton of options. There's definitely companies that sell you printed artwork. So you can go that route. You can also, if you did how I did, get your free pictures or your pictures from Etsy and then have them printed. That's also another great option. And that's what I did. Loki snoring in the background, sorry. <laughs> I personally used Walgreens and Walgreens is constantly having sales on their photo printing. So definitely watch out for one of their holidays so that you can get a discount on your prints but one thing to keep in mind before you send your images to print you need to make sure that you're going to print it in the right size so if you already have some frames in mind measure those out to see what size image you would need for your frame also this is a bit of an extra step but i think it's worth it you can use nation's photo lab they have a pixel chart you basically upload your picture and they give you recommendations on the best size for printing that image and also the largest size that you can print that image with it still maintaining its quality so that's a bit of an extra step but i definitely think it's worth it if you want your images to come out extra crisp and then ideally i wanted to use matte paper but that wasn't an option for me when i printed mine out so i printed on glossy paper and then i did my own diy to create a matte finish so definitely check out i have a diy video on that it's super easy just using some simple matte mod podge and i'll link the video so you can check it out if you want to do that with your own prints Okay, so you have your artwork and it's printed and ready to be framed. Since I was doing a budget-friendly gallery wall, I thrifted all of my frames. And you'll find that when you thrift frames, they're not the conventional sizes that frames are if you buy them at the store. So that's just something to keep in mind. I had to buy the closest size print that would fit in that frame and then trim it down to fit perfectly. So for example, if my frame was 8x9 and that's not a conventional size, then I purchased an 8x10, which is a conventional size, and I trimmed it to fit in the frame so that's just something to keep in mind especially if you're doing a budget-friendly thrifted gallery wall option your frames might not be the conventional sizes so you might have to trim your pictures also most of my frames didn't have a mat so i didn't use a mat on any of mine except one that already had it pre-built in but if you do like the look of a mat you definitely can do that yourself as well for a pretty decent price there are pre-cut mats available at hobby lobby or you can buy your own mat board at somewhere like michael's and cut it to your own size i personally wanted mine to look like painting so i didn't add any mats and i took out the glass so that it would have a completely matte finish and i also did that diy that i mentioned before i also took out the glass because since it is a renter friendly option i wanted the frames to be as light as possible to not risk them falling off the wall <laughs> which brings us to our next step which is hanging our prints <laughs> So once you have all of your prints in your frames, you're ready to start hanging. But first, you have to plan out your layout. I laid out all of the frames on the floor to get an idea of what I want it to look like. You can also do this on Canva if you take pictures of all of your different frames and you play around with them there. That's also definitely an option, but I like to physically be able to grab them and move them around. Then once I had a general idea of what I wanted to do, I made cutouts of all of my frames and I just used some paper that had come in like packages and things like that. You don't need to go out 
out and buy any specific paper so whatever paper you have lying around but i basically trace the frames on the paper and cut it out you can also label them so you know which painting corresponds to which cutout and then just using a little bit of tape i started placing them on the wall where i wanted them to be based on the layout that i had already planned out then with the cutouts you can make any last minute adjustments and change your layout the way that you want it and then you're ready to start hanging so for this you'll need command strips i use the picture hanging command strips and i'll link them below and i use the medium and the large so depending on the size of my frame and how heavy it was i used maybe one or two or up to four command strips on one frame i also had some frames where the backing was very very narrow in that case what i did was cut the command strip in half and then you basically just follow the instructions on the back of the command strip box you take one side of the tape off and glue it onto your frame make sure it's stuck really well apply a lot of pressure and then you remove the backing on the other side which will go on the wall you remove your cutout piece of paper and then you stick your frame where you wanted it to be and press again into the wall step on the command box that basically recommends that you remove the frame leave the stickies on the wall and then i think let it cure for 24 hours and then you can put your frame back on i honestly skipped that step i did it before when i was hanging a different project and i found that it wouldn't stick to the wall it was really difficult to kind of like peel only one side of it so i completely skipped that step for my frames altogether i just stuck them on and pressed really tightly held them for a little bit and i haven't had any issues with them sticking or falling or wiggling or anything like that one thing you do want to keep in mind it looks absolutely great the finished result but you can sometimes especially depending on the frame you can sometimes see a little bit of the command strip peeking out so definitely try to stick them further into the frame so that you can't see as much on the edge or like i mentioned before if your frame is really narrow try to cut the command strip in half so that it doesn't stick out too close to the edge because then you'll see it it's not a huge issue it's barely noticeable but it's just something that i figured i would mention but the beauty beauty of this budget and renter friendly gallery wall is that it's super adaptable so let's say in a couple of months you want to swap out your prints you can just remove the command strip and rearrange your layout and there's no problem there's no holes you have to fill or anything like that also the prints are relatively cheap to print so if you want to swap out all your prints you also can do that and that's a great way to kind of keep your gallery wall fresh i started off with only six pieces in my gallery wall and i plan to add some more pieces as i thrift some more frames but yeah it'll be fun to kind of switch it around every once in a while if I'm feeling a little freaky, maybe change the prints. <laughs> like I said, it's super adaptable. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much it all costs, since I did mention it was budget friendly. So like I said, I used six frames and they were all, I don't remember the exact prices of each of the frames, but they were all under $5. Some were much cheaper, some were a little closer to the $5 range. Then all of the prints together were about $13. And again, I waited for Walgreens to have a sale so that all of the photos were half price. Then I bought a pack of 28 command strips and that was about $19. I think I only used about half of them so i still have a ton more for another project but i included the whole 19 dollars in the price so if you don't count the matte mod podge that i use for the diy all of it came out to around 50 dollars which i think is a crazy good price and if you compare it to some other options so let's say you bought all the frames new at ikea i think each frame is around ten dollars so just on the frames i would have spent sixty dollars which is crazy so this is definitely incredibly budget friendly and renter friendly as well and like i said before super adaptable so you can print whatever pictures you want i personally like landscape so i that's what i did but you can print whatever images you want to add to your gallery wall but that is it it's super quick and easy i'll have a blog post linked below 
article with everything written out and more in detail but if you have any questions on the process feel free to leave me a comment down below or dm me on instagram and if you do make your own gallery wall definitely tag me i would love to see it and don't forget if you want my prints sign up for my newsletter below so you can get them for free but that is all i'll see you all in another video bye